You know, someone just made a comment on my video, which is months ago, um, when you're seeing this one, but they said something like, if it's a good, if it, if, I said something about iffy targets, and they said, well, if it's a good target, it'll have a good tone and good ID. Well, it's like, yeah, that's possible, but not always the case. I get good targets, good tone, good ID, and it's iron. And like in this one, see, I don't believe exactly what he says. I mean, yeah, but like this one, wasn't a very good target in one direction until you really pinpointed it. I mean, yeah, it could be a better signal. It was like an 1138, one direction, and then it changed into like another 1241 in the other, showing about seven inches, and I'm down about six and a half, seven. It's right on the sidewall. I have no idea what this is. Um, but yet, you know, somebody's trying to, you know, trying to sell the CTX and say that, well, if it's if it's a good target, it's gonna have good, uh, it's gonna have a good tone, but that's not always the case. I mean, I already know that's not the case, because I get kind of a crappy signal. That's the whole point of having the combined mode, being able to separate the iron and, you know, you're gonna you're gonna hear those two tones, those bouncing. I call them the clutter tones. You're going to hear two tones bouncing between each other, you know, the two bends. It's not going to sound good. I mean, but, you know, I'm still learning. I'm still learning. So, anyways, it's either a silver or a weedy. Um, my first coin, I've only dug... Right there. I've only dug two targets today. Oh, it's just a. Uh, it's gonna be a weedy. Yep, second weedy so far of the day. My third dig. I'm back. Yesterday I was here. I picked up two silvers. And I'm back today. See if I can find me a few more coins. Alright, well last night I walked a little bit of this little area right here, picked up that rosy right there, came back today and started gritting off, got the wheat penny over here, and then I walked up here, dug that, just did that uh, live dig, wrote a wheat right there, did a turn, came up here, and hit a tone. Now this tone was showing me that it was somewhere between 8 and 11 inches. And I know that's never right. Well, not always right, but I was figuring probably about seven to eight if it's showing like eleven. So somewhere in about the five to six range, that silver was coming in at an eleven thirty-four bouncing to an eleven forty-one. It really never got any higher than that. Um, but uh, it's there right there. Eleven thirty-four bouncing. I saw lots of 1138, 1240, I think 1140, uh, 1141 was the highest I think I saw. I was thinking I was digging, I thought I was digging a deep weedy like I just dug. It's a merc. Can't quite read it, but it looks like something nine. 29 or something. That is awesome. Alright, number two. Amazing thing is, is yesterday was the first two first silvers, you know, that I've ever gotten in this park. I've hunted it many times. And uh, I got four silvers in two days. Awesome. I wasn't even sure about this little area because all I'd been finding is like five and six inch like zinc pennies and clad and stuff, and then I didn't think it was gonna be very good, but I'm gonna re-hit it uh, after hitting this. This was a really iffy one. Man, a little high tone, but it was like, there might even be another coin here because it was kind of 
hard to pinpoint. So, anyway, Merc number two, and I can't get a date. All right, let's keep going. Down, and it was showing twenty or uh, five, five, six inches. inches. Really? Damn. Somebody missed him. Cause this place is pretty cleaned out. Yeah. Dang. Sweet. Silver coming up. Silver coming up. That's what he says. It's either silver or a little piece of pipe like I keep getting. <laughs> They've got a uh, conductive 45 on this. Oh, no, really? And I got a uh, uh, Ferris coin. No? Oh, wait. It's just a root, right? Yeah, I thought it was the sprinkler. Yeah, no. I got a 4142. Oh, silver. It's silver, he says. And. Yep. So I wasn't getting. I got the nice tone, but. Um, and mine wasn't, it wasn't saying in Ferris coin that it was silver. Ish at 4142. Alright, Dave. I probably walked by that one. Oh, 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 I see it. You're right. Dave got a, a pocket spill, silver. Woo hoo! Dave, nice. nice. Rosie. Rosie. Now that is sweet. Now see, you would have thought two coins like that would have came up like a quarter. Which it was, kind of. Well, you just bounced around a yeah, little bit. I don't know. Did yours get 46s? 47s? Yeah. Oh, see, I saw 45s, but then mine never came up above 42. Uh, that's Ferris coin for you. Dang, man. Huh. All right, Dave's got number four. With a weedy. Well, I didn't get silver, but I think it's a little oil token. I'm not sure. Full something re something. Anyway, some sort of little token. When it was down, it's real small, thin. It's down about seven inches. All right, I finally got silver. Dave actually let me probably have this one. He probably went by it and I said, yeah. And, Let's uh, see if he finds it. If he doesn't, I'll walk back over and get it. Yeah. So I got myself a Merc. A very, wow. Holy crap. Is it worn out or not? Look at the back side of that. Wow. The edges something are all. Else there. Yeah, there's something else in the hole. That makes it look like that. Yeah. That was like dropped a couple of days ago. That's silver oxide on there. Ooh, it's a 17. No wonder. What does that mean? First, uh, no, it's not. Well, that's why it's so worn. What does that mean? It's a 17. It's old. But I'm betting there's another silver coin down there. Oh, yes. I knew it. So two pocket spills. Nice. So we haven't had that happen before. Robert? No, it's another. Uh, so one time when you and I got barbers at the same time, that one part. Yeah, you got a double. Now we both spill. got. Now we well, we both got double we, double silver spills. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Can never be three. Twenty-eight. All right. I feel so much better, Dave. I bet you do. I bet you do. <laughs> I am so happy you got so <laughs> Gosh. Yeah. Oh. All right, Dave's got number five.
You can see Dave right down there. He's got about 25 minutes to find two silvers to beat his all-time best for a day. I just picked up a buffalo. Nickel. Ugh, can't even see that side, but looking for silver myself.